of our virtual training sessions. If you have instructors on your campus who are interested in getting training and you don't see a time slot that works for you, we're happy to do custom training at the time schedule that works for you and your, your uh, community instructors. So with that, I thought I'd dive straight into the demo. I logged into Blackboard as an instructor. I'm going to go into my course. I'm teaching algebra. This is my empty course shell as my admin has set it up. To get started, the first time that I use the Pearson MyLab Mastery Building Block, I go into the course tools area. I s oh, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. You can't see any of this. Is my is Ivan my handy AV guy handy? Okay, so we're looking at the new Pearson iLab, and the big news is great integration for coming to fall. So that should be uh, handy, probably something we want to take up with. Uh, until it's not. Natural <laughs> sciences. That's so while he's working on that, let me walk you through the overall process. What happens is when an instructor uses a building block for the first time, they go into their course, they go into the course tools area, they select the building block, when they click on the link to the Pearson MyLab Mastery building block, they're presented with a login screen at Pearson. We need to know who are who is this instructor. They log in with their Pearson credentials, and they only have to do that once. They do it once, and then for the rest of the time that they're using the integration, they never have to log in again. Blackboard just remembers who they are. Once they're in the, the Pearson system, they're next prompted with a catalog where they can search for the building or the course that they're interested in connecting from Pearson to Blackboard. They'll search the catalog based on their ISBN, the title or author of the book. When they find the, the text that they're interested in, we have more than 2,000 texts, over 140 disciplines, so a lot of uh, information that an instructor can select. They'll select it. They'll be asked to provide a start and an end date for that course. They'll be asked to give it a title, and they hit submit. Pearson goes off, creates that course on the fly, and automatically links it to their Blackboard course. From then, the two courses are linked. So it's really easy for the student and the instructor to go straight from that Blackboard course into their MyLab or Mastery course. Now, what does it look like from a student perspective? When a student first goes to Blackboard for the first time, they go into their Blackboard course, if the instructor has added links into the content areas, my lab and mastery links into the content area of their Blackboard course, the student could go there into the content area or in the left navigation area, click on their my math lab link, and because it's the very first time that they are going into their my lab from Blackboard, we prompt them for their Pearson credentials. Lots of students, more than 12,000 students, 12 million students, take a MyLab or Mastery course each year. So many of them already have a Pearson account. We ask that just keep using that account, they log in with those credentials, and then they're asked to put in their access code. Usually they purchase this access code at the bookstore, uh, or they can buy it online. They enter it right there. If they don't have an access code, they can go and use a debit card or credit card or their PayPal account and purchase access right then and there. Now many students are often waiting for their financial aid to come through, or maybe they're thinking, do I really want to be taking this course? I might drop it. I'm not sure about my schedule. We also have a temporary access option. So it gives a student up to 17 days to access the course uh, on a trial basis, they can always upgrade to full access at any point uh, during that 17 days or after. If there's a, if you need to get the browser back up, I just need a browser. 
Okay, once a student uh, puts in the access code or pays for access or clicks that temporary access, then they can go, uh, oh, there's, there's our screen. <laughs> this is a dual monitor and our browser was way off on the side, wacky. I'll just, I'll just continue with this because I hope you'll be done well otherwise. Anyway, once a student has put in their credentials and their access code or paper access, boom, they're in. It's a one-time thing. They don't ever have to remember that login uh, or, or anything from that point forward. Each time they come back to Blackboard to enter their course, they can just click the Pearson link or take it directly into that part of the course. So it's a really nice time saver for instructors and students. It's a great help for students in the sense that, as we all know, forgetting one's password or just having problems with login is often the number one problem in terms of access. So eliminating that step is a huge win for everyone.